I started writing about 10 years ago and my first film was made in Portugal in 2008 called Same Room Same Time and since then I've been writing lots and lots of short films and making them and done one feature film which has been distributed worldwide I've picked up seven awards for the film Pro Cop and one award now has been awarded to Stop Eject and quite a few nominations and had some good festival entries on all the films I started writing because I love movies and wanted to try and work within them I can't act, I don't want to direct, so I thought I'd have a hand at writing and try and create stories. And that's what I started learning how to do from books and whatever I could watch other films and trying to study the art of storytelling. I love the short film format. For me as a writer, you can tell a different story much faster. If you want to work on a feature film, it will take maybe eight months to write, whereas Songbird only took two nights to write the original draft of it, and it's only been sort of six months since writing it to now to get this far. I was inspired to write Songbird after having the idea for a few years. I've always loved the fantasy genre. I've, I was a child from the 80s video era where you got to watch films like Never Ending Story, Labyrinth, and I've been getting inspiration from reading kids' stories. So I've now got a one going two-year-old boy who would read The Gruffalo a lot. This kind of fitted with that, but for a more adult audience. So I just wanted to write something that people of any age could get. With Songway, I was very, very inspired by the music I was listening to whilst writing it. I put together a playlist quite early on so I could listen to that kind of music and get into the mind of setting it to that tone. I find music and cinema works very well together. I've always been a fan of the 90s indie films with like Quentin Tarantino stuff who uses regular pop tunes to tell his story and it fits things so nicely to it. So I've always wanted to do that with my films and working with Sophie on Night Owls where we actually had a full soundtrack for just a short film was amazing. The biggest challenge of writing Songbird was trying to make the main character be silent for the majority of the screenplay, trying to write a way that comes across that she's got emotions and what's going on inside her head without being blatant. Between now and the shoot, the screenplay is actually done, there's nothing more for me to do unless we need to tweak it for a particular actress or a location. It's normally something that you kind of notice when you cast a specific person, maybe they talk in a way that would be nice to include, but essentially my work here is done. I can relax, let everyone else run around and panic. I'm really looking forward to see the scenes inside the wood where she goes into the other world and the witch's world. I'd love to see the set with all the jars that are full of captured voices. When I think about writing a screenplay, I try and make sure I have an audience for that screenplay. There's no point in writing something no one's going to want to back, which is the same for any film, but you've got to make sure as well that when you want to write something, you can kind of try and find your fan base first. I think even people who don't like fantasy will like Songbird. It's just a great story, and it's got characters to get involved with and root for. You don't have to be the fan of magic and fairies and fairy tales, but everyone likes a good story, a good journey, and it's a story of a really, really wonderful female character. Normally my films are very interior, or well, based inside. Films like Prokop was one man in a hotel room on a phone, but you don't get much more enclosed than that. Songbird is a much bigger production, but I feel that our cast and crew can pull this off and do a great job of it.